I'm Curtis Howerton, Connected Equipment Manager for Berkey's Farm Store, and thank you for joining me for this episode of Staying Connected with Berkey's. Today we're going to discuss calibrating the steering valves on an AFS Connect tractor. To calibrate our steering, we're going to go to the menu, Diagnostics, and Vehicle Diagnostics. On this page in the right hand menu under Tractor, we're going to go to Calibrations, and it'll be in the Steering menu. First, we'll do our wheel angle sensor. Select the shift button or second function button on the back of your multifunction handle. And now we're going to turn all the way to the right. Once that's completed, it'll ask us to turn all the way to the left. And once that's done, we're going to steer the wheels straight or centered. For this, I like to pick something in the distance and point the nose of the tractor directly at it. Try to get those wheels as straight as possible. Now it's going to ask us if we'd like to apply those settings. We're going to select apply. That's all we had to do for that calibration. That was mapping the steering sensor in the front axle on a Magnum front wheel assist tractor. Now we're going to do our steering valves. For this we have some basic parameters. One that is important to note is the tractor must be steered all the way to the right to start the calibration. Now we're going to hit the second function button in the back of our multifunction handle. Now it's going to want us to steer it towards the center or straight. We can see that actual number is the uh, voltage that it's getting back from that steered wheel position sensor. Once we hit continue, the tractor will take over. Now during this process, the tractor's wheels or the articulation will be just moving left and right to find the dead bands. This will take a little bit of time. For this process, I prefer to be slowly rolling forward. As you can see, it's telling us that it's possibly found a left dead band edge. It's important to complete both of these calibrations before doing your roll calibration. And we've now completed that calibration. So we'll select done. And now we're ready to do our roll calibration. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Staying Connected with Berkey's.